My name is Christian Karl. I'm the co-founder and the CEO of the company, Polestar Company, which is based in France and also in Palo Alto, the Silicon Valley. We are providing indoor location technologies and we are providing indoor technologies for, for a while already. So we delivered our first solution, it was in 2009, uh, first validated and commercial solution. An indoor location, it's the capability to reproduce what GPS done outside but inside the building. Uh, why we have to, we have developed this solution and why we, are, we it, it is important, it is an important feature today because GPS is everywhere. Uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, GPS signal coming from the satellite uh, are, are not available inside the building uh, for many reasons, but mainly technical reasons. Uh, perturbation or uh, the roof of the building um, is an uh, obstacle and we, we, we cannot uh, we cannot use this signal inside. Uh, sometimes they are available, it is very poor signal, so the accuracy is not uh, reliable, or sometimes it's simply not available. Uh, if you take the example of uh, underground car park or subway, things like that, we cannot use uh, we cannot use the, the the GPS signal, so satellite navigation. So this is the reason why uh, indoor location is now uh, very important features to to speed up and to help the LBS application, location-based services, uh, to be available uh, inside the, the building and also to provide services such as navigation, uh, wayfinding inside a large building such as shopping mall, airports. We can imagine exhibition centers uh, are very, very interesting by using these technologies to improve their mobile application. Our core technologies, core location technologies, is what we call a fusion engine. So, meaning that we are using different kind of uh, signal and different kind of data. Basically and primarily, we are using the Wi-Fi signal, uh, existing Wi-Fi signal. We are not deploying any kind of Wi-Fi infrastructure. We are just using the existing Wi-Fi infrastructure. So. You can imagine in the shopping mall um, or in the airport, you have existing Wi-Fi infrastructure. Any shops has in its, its own access point, and in an airport on this kind of venues, uh, you have uh, the redundant Wi-Fi network to provide Wi-Fi service uh, to the to the travelers and, and visitors. So we are using basically this kind of signal. We don't need to be connected to the network. We just make some measurement on the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, and the core technology, which is the algorithm, the fusion engine, is fully embedded inside the, the, the terminal, meaning that we don't need to rely on an external server, we don't need uh, to have a permanent data connection, and this makes our technologies very reliable and available, uh, whatever the situation. We are using also the data coming from the map, so the indoor map. Indoor mapping uh, is becoming a key industry. Uh, this is the reason why all the, we, we, we see more and more map makers offering uh, indoor mapping. We are also using uh, the, um, the motion sensors, uh, accelerometers, compass, available on more or less 100% uh, of the smartphones available on the market today. And we can also use uh, the Bluetooth low energy signal. So Bluetooth low energy signal uh, has offers big advantage uh, because we, we design a specific devices, autonomous devices, which can be used uh, to densify the network if it is uh, necessary, which is very low cost, obviously. And uh, we can also rely on this, uh, on this uh, type of devices and infrastructure to uh, extend the coverage. You can imagine, for instance, if we cover uh, all the public part of a shopping mall, uh, with this kind of infrastructure, we can easily detect that a shopper uh, is entering inside a shop, which is, of course, for our customers, something really, really important in terms of added value. Mm -hmm. Today, we are dealing with uh, the new owners, and the new owners uh, are developing their own application. And our technology is embedded inside the application. What does it mean in terms of usage? When you download the application on Google Play or on the app stores for iPhone, the technologies, our technologies, namely now Compass, will be automatically in, in, installed in the smartphone. 
so where it's where it just a check to see if the technology is already installed or not. And if it is not installed, it will be automatically installed on, on the smartphone. So very simple way to use that. We are uh, interface API, uh, which is quite similar to the GPS API, meaning that for the application developers, it is not uh, a problem to integrate our technology. Very simple, integrate now campus as you can integrate the GPS signal. Uh, as we offer a complete uh, seamless transition between indoor and outdoor, which may be important. Mm -hmm. For example, you use uh, Google Map outside, uh, you can enter, in, in, enter inside the building and the transition will be automatic without any intervention of the, of the users. We integrate also the GPS signal in our core technologies just to ensure this transition. In terms of performance, uh, we, are, we offer something around one to two meters of accuracy and uh, in 3D, meaning that we discriminate the different stories in, in, in the venues. Real 3D performances, which is of course quite important uh, to, 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 to guide people.